Understanding what to expect after head and neck cancer treatment and who you can contact for help is very important to looking after yourself or a loved one. People with head and neck cancer often experience side effects after treatment. Everyone's experience will be different and side effects will vary depending on your treatment. It is normal for some side effects to get worse after treatment and while some side effects will go away after treatment, others may last for a few weeks or the rest of your life. This animation will talk about eating well, keeping your mouth healthy, looking after your skin, managing lymphedema, taking care of your emotional well-being, and who to contact if you need help. Eating well. It is normal to experience some difficulty eating and drinking after head and neck cancer treatment. Everyone's experience will be different and will change over time. Side effects will vary depending on whether you have surgery, radiation therapy, chemotherapy, or a combination of treatments. For example, you may experience difficulty swallowing or chewing, dry mouth, taste changes, nausea and vomiting, or difficulty opening your mouth. Eating well after treatment can help you reduce the chance you will get an infection, recover more quickly, and keep your strength and energy levels up. Tips for eating well. Take any pain relief medication prescribed before meals to make eating and drinking more comfortable. Eat a diet high in protein and calories. Eat small meals or snacks more often if you have trouble eating a full meal. And drink calorie rich fluids, such as milk, milkshakes, smoothies or juice. If you have a sore throat, avoid foods that scratch or burn, for example citrus, vinegar, chips or toast. A dietitian is an expert in food and nutrition who helps people with their diet. A dietitian may give you some tips to make eating easier, stay well hydrated and enjoy your food to help you keep weight on. If you are having difficulty swallowing, you can see a speech pathologist. A speech pathologist is an expert in speech and swallowing. Your speech pathologist will teach you ways to make swallowing easier. Speak to your cancer care team about making an appointment with a dietitian or speech pathologist. Keeping your teeth and mouth healthy. Treatment for head and neck cancer, especially radiation therapy, can cause side effects that may affect your teeth or mouth. Side effects include dry mouth, tooth decay, mouth ulcers, changes in taste, difficulty opening your mouth fully, and bone death. Tips to keep your teeth and mouth healthy include drinking plenty of water and chewing sugar-free chewing gum to keep your mouth moist. Gently brushing your teeth, gums and tongue with a soft toothbrush after every meal and at bedtime. Gently flossing your teeth every day. Using a high strength fluoride toothpaste. Using an alcohol free mouthwash and reducing intake of foods that may accelerate tooth decay, such as those high in sugar or acid content. It is very important to visit your dentist every six months after treatment for head and neck cancer to keep your mouth and teeth as healthy as possible and prevent or reduce problems before they start. Looking after your skin. Radiation therapy for head and neck cancer can cause your skin to become sore, red and flaky. Looking after your skin during and after radiation therapy is important. Good skin care can help to stop you getting an infection, make you feel more comfortable and reduce the chance that your therapy is delayed. Tips to keep your skin healthy. Use mild soap to wash the skin in the area you are having treatment. Apply a moisturising cream or ointment regularly. Avoid using other skin creams, makeup, aftershave or perfume on the area. And always wear sunscreen once any peeling or weeping has healed. If you are worried about your skin during or after radiation therapy, you should speak with your doctor, radiation therapy nurse or cancer care team. What is lymphedema? Lymphedema is swelling that can happen after treatment for head and neck cancer. Lymphedema happens when lymph nodes in the neck are not working properly, causing fluid to build up in the area. You are more likely to get lymphedema if you've had both surgery and radiation therapy. Symptoms of lymphedema include swollen eyes, face, lips, neck or chin, 
feeling heavy or tight in your neck or face, trouble moving your neck or jaw, and difficulty swallowing, speaking or breathing. How is lymphedema treated? Treatment for lymphedema aims to reduce the swelling and prevent it from getting worse. A physiotherapist or nurse may perform a massage designed to drain fluid from the affected area. This is called manual lymphatic drainage. A physiotherapist can also give you exercises to help with head and neck movement or provide compression bandages to help reduce swelling. You should always tell your doctor if you notice swelling in your face or neck. Your doctor may recommend that you get help from a lymphedema nurse or physiotherapist who is an expert in treating lymphedema. Emotional well-being. Not all side effects of head and neck cancer treatment are physical. You may also have a number of different emotions or feelings during and after your treatment. Having head and neck cancer may make you feel angry, stressed, worried or depressed, afraid that your cancer could come back, sad about changes to the way you look. Looking after your emotional well-being is just as important as your physical health and you do not have to deal with head and neck cancer alone. Your doctor may recommend that you see a psychologist. Psychologists are experts in feelings and emotions. Your psychologist will be able to talk with you about how you are feeling and help you with strategies to manage the things troubling you in daily life. Top tips to remember. Understanding what to expect after head and neck cancer treatment and who you can contact for help is very important to looking after yourself. It is normal to experience side effects after head and neck cancer treatment. It is normal for some side effects to get worse after treatment. Everyone's experience will be different. Side effects will vary depending on whether you have surgery, radiation therapy, chemotherapy, or a combination of treatments. Side effects will change over time. Some may last for the rest of your life. Finally, good communication with your GP, dentist, and cancer care team is very important to help you get the best care. For more information, visit the Head and Neck Cancer Australia website at www.headandneckcancer.org.au. Cancer Institute New South Wales also has information available in your language that will support you after a cancer diagnosis. For more information, you can call the Cancer Council Australia helpline on 13 11 20 or Cancer Council Telephone Interpreter Service on 131 450.